I was on the streets because literally nobody cared where I was at. And it was much safer than where I had come from. I felt absolutely worthless. There had to be some place where such a young person could go, where it would be safe, and so that they could work out their differences with their family and then go back, and then everything would be just fine. We were so naive to think that children were going, young people were going to just have a, a short stay at the shelter, counseling, and then go back home because we realized that that was that was not possible, that leaving the situation that they were in was really much, much smarter than staying where they were. So they just kind of kept growing and growing and growing and the needs, the recognizing the needs of these young people kept changing and growing and expanding and so did the shelter. If it wasn't for those people, so many of us would be lost. So many of us were lost anyway. And it was really important that those people were coming out and doing outreach because it started to show me that somebody cared. And it wasn't even something that I could comprehend at the time, you know, but it was like a little seed that took root and grew you know, into eventually being able to really care about myself. Individually, I was a person to them. And there were folks uh, at Orion and at Youth Care that, were, that, that knew about me. They understood the things I liked. They understood what I wanted to do, what I might want to be. If I had a wish for every young person that I worked with, I would wish that they believed in themselves as much as we believed in them. In all my years at Youth Care, there are too many stories to pick just one. What remains true is that they all deserve more. They all want more. They all have the potential and joy that can only be fostered if we help them heal and see their possibilities. One of the biggest things I've realized is that young people want to be productive and contributing members of society. And education and employment training programs here at Youth Care, I think, offer them those opportunities to move into a position to be a contributing member of society. I think when I connect with young people, it's in the small steps, it's in the baby steps. Actually, for me, a lot of times, the first moment of building that trust comes in in an interview for my employment training program. They may not necessarily do the best interview or have the best interview, but half the battle is believing that you have a good interview. And if you believe you have a good interview, then we can work on the concrete skills later. I think you actually can see a physical change in a young person, in that they smile more and I actually think that they walk taller. I think their posture changes. I think their shoulders go back. And I think they walk taller and prouder through the world when they have one of those small or larger successes in life. What is the one thing any person can do to help a homeless young person? See them. Don't look away. Recognize that this is one of your community's children. Maybe your neighbors, maybe your cousins, maybe someone that goes to your child's school. Know that they're not an other 
but they're one of us. And to make sure that you feel and can begin to see who they are as people and as individuals who are not there by their own choice, but who are actually there because something has happened outside of their control that has led them to be in the position that they're in now. I have to say that it was the core belief that young people can move forward with their lives. Um, that we don't and we can't do a lot about what happened yesterday, but there's a whole lot we can do about tomorrow. When that young person gets their GED and they didn't realize they could even uh, attend school ever again, that they didn't ever feel successful, that moment when a young person says, wow, I can learn, um, really always catches me by surprise that they didn't believe that or that no one had believed that in them. The moment when the young person finishes one of our workforce training programs, our barista program, our youth boat program, and they stand there with their caps and gowns and they feel so proud of what they've accomplished. It's just like seeing my own child graduate and that they're that excited about the milestone and their family is that excited and to see those two things come together I think is one of the things that keeps me going. The future has good positive things for them that they could see that they are lovable and that there's no opportunity that they can't reach for.